with life with cousin patches baby oh my goodness so much has been going on since the last video and i know my videos have not been current back to back because i've been at a crossroads um but before i get to all of that let me send my shout outs happy birthday to one of the ladies that always sends me comments is named Just Read My Book. I don't know her name. I would like if you send me a name. Because <laughs> I'd be like, just read my book. And then people be thinking that I got a book that's coming out. But um, I wanted to answer some of your questions. Uh, I've always loved your advice. And I love the fact that you keep it real. Even you too, Maria Sophie. Sometimes, you know, you will come to the girl kind of sideways. But I know that you mean what's best and what's on your heart. And I love the fact that you know that you can be free to express yourself to me. So I appreciate that. There's a lot of you out there that I love that support the Life with Cousin Patches. And I really do appreciate it. I'm going to try to answer some of these questions uh, that y'all asked me on the last comments. First off. To just me, just read my book, girl. As much as me, you, and this whole channel and my family prayed for my dream house, I'm not going nowhere. I'm not going nowhere. I'm still in the same house, beautiful. I didn't leave. You know, it was just like I had so much on my plate, and you know. I was feeling like that's what was going to have to crack. I would leave this place first before I allow somebody to, you know, uh, make me fall. But, no. Nah. Mm -mm. Even though uh, Shemaine and Robbie kind of left me in, um, in a crazy predicament a little bit, uh, the Lord don't put too much on me that I can't bear. Even at that time, I'd be feeling like I can't bear it. But... You know, I just try to, you know, make the best of what I got and just, you know, let go and let God. So he got me through that. He got me through that. And believe it or not, I have no hard feelings. I have no full hard feelings with Robbie, Shemaine. I wish them all the best. Um, so, you know, at that time, like I said, I was having some financial pressure. But I'm not going away. This is my home. You know, if I want to pay anything, I'm going to make sure my rent is paid, regardless. I, you know, so sometimes if my internet ain't on, that's because I done paid something else and that had to wait. <laughs> so sometimes if you don't get a video for me, you know, it's because maybe my cable ain't on at the time. You know what I'm saying? But I make the sacrifices that I, that I make, you know, so I can survive. And I try to help people as much as I possibly can. You know, um, you know, friends and family, they tend to, you know, come by and need to lean on you from time to time. But, you know, it's all right to help them a little bit. But they got to be willing to fly on their own. And if they're not willing to fly on their own, you most definitely cannot, you know, expect to live off of me you know, and help you fly. No, I can give you the things that you need so you can fly, but I'm not going to be able to take care of anyone in particular. So I can give you the material. I can help you do what I can. I can give you the material, help you do what you can. I hope the best when I allow you to go free. All the birdies. All the birdies. <laughs> All the birdies. And, you know, I'm never going to stop helping people. And I don't know, you know, I, but I'm just going to try not to help, you know, as much. People just come to me and they think I got it. I got it, you know, this kind of heart that I want to help. But my pocketbook is little. My pocketbook ain't fat. So it's hard for me to help everybody. But I do try to give back in some shape, fashion, or form. Uh, how is my health? Girl, Marie Sophie uh, asked me, how's my hair? Whew. I can truly say it has been a challenge, but I have 
triumphant the challenges that the Lord had put upon me. You know? So I had some uh, procedures done, and uh, I'm going to have to go back and make sure that what I had done is going to, you know, suffice, and they don't have to do deeper work. But uh, over the years, I just worked real hard. I stayed on my feet and all that stuff, and it began to make things drop. So, you know, I don't know what to tell you. The Lord says sometimes you got to sit down, and I sit down. You know, um, I had to learn to do that. You know, today I'm, I'm like, yes, I'm throbbing from my back to my uterus. I'm crumping and I'm throbbing. Right. Hurt. Got my electricity on. You know, just one of them days. But I weather through the storm. I weather through the pain. And I've had a total of five surgeries, major surgeries in my life. And so my body hurts sometimes. It does. And, and you know, I may have imported hard or whatnot, and then my, my health might be failing a little bit, but it's just because I'm getting older. Getting older. And I've worked hard to take care of me and my family and try to do what's right and try to praise the Lord first and then put everything else behind it. So, you know, I kind of sit back and chill. I've had to learn to sit back and chill. But I've tried to enjoy my life. On my good days, I'm a bad lady, honey. I'm a bad mama jamma. I'm a higher doctor. Uh, on my good days. But then on some of my bad days, I'm like, ah, look at this. You know? But that's life. This is my life. Y'all tuning in to Life Cousin Patches. <laughs> and I'm going to have good days. I'm going to have bad days. I'm going to feel like giving up sometimes. Sometimes I'm going to feel like I need to stand up tall. And sometimes if I have to fight, I'm going to fight. <sighs> now, what's been going on in my personal life? I know everybody want to know. So, uh, I told you about my crossroads. Uh, before I go on to what's going on in my life, let me finish the crossroads. Because I don't want to leave you hanging on it. I'm at a crossroads. One part of me is like, I'm going to let the channel go. The other part of me is I'm going to try to keep doing the channel. Because uh, one part of me feels like, you know, uh, yeah, my family. And um, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be here for a long, long time. So, but at the time that I am here, you know, I could see myself deteriorating, really. I hate to say it, uh, but it is what it is. I don't remember stuff all the time. You know, uh, my body's aching. You know, shit's dropping. You know, um, oof. you know. Anywho, I don't, I want to be able to, many years down the line, if I do forget, I want to be able to look back and have memories of all the things that I've been going through. So if somebody's aggravated me and done something wrong, I want to be able to click and be like, yes, I remember that when that happened. I sure do. <clears throat> and when somebody does something good by me, and the people that love me and the love lives that I had inside of my life, I might want to peep and, and see and refresh in that. And first and foremost, I most definitely want to be able to leave something to all my sheep, all my lambs, my, you know, my family, my kids, my nieces and nephews, my, my Whitney's Dejas and Candies, you know, I, I want to be able to leave something. You know, I want them to be able to click on and check and see that it's me. <laughs> you know, um, I'm just trying to make sure I leave a legacy and a memory behind. So the life of Cousin Patches is all, it's, it's a documentary. And uh, it's a learning experience. And it's a spiritual experience. And uh, my loved ones is going to look back and laugh. 
And maybe in this shape, fashion, and form, maybe I'll live forever. So, you know, I guess I am going to continue on doing this channel for a little while, but I may not do as many videos as I used to do. Uh, my body's tired. I'm like, whoa. But I'm not going to totally leave y'all hanging. So, I guess that crossroad path is over. <sighs> Update, newsflash. Tell me why. Why Bruno? His crazy ass. He has went to my old neighborhood and delivered pumpkins to all the kids on my block. Like we did last year. And he had to call Candy and tell him, tell her that he's been delivering pumpkins to everybody in the in my old neighborhood. And he helped uh, one of my friends out put their washing machine in their basement, hooked it up because it's been sitting in their kitchen. They said for at least ninety days, almost three months to sit there. Could nobody get in the basement? But Bruno was delivering pumpkins, and he had. Uh, put the washer in the basement and gave her a couple of dollars for some washing powder and bleach. That is so sweet. You know, um, even though that man sent me through all kinds of crazy stuff, I'm going to always have good memories with him. I'm always going to have love for him. Shit. I got his son tatted on my name. Remember? Hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> hood merch. <laughs> you know, got the hood merch. It's bad, but uh, it's what it's supposed to be. But if something keeps basically, I guess I was taught that if this hand was smacking me constantly in the face, I don't allow that hand to continue doing that. Doing that. I cut that hand off. Um, you know, Bruno, I love him to death. But when he get mad, he says little crazy shit. I ain't gonna say I don't say crazy shit, but like I said, I don't hit below the belt. I don't never I don't like to hit below the belt. But if you really, 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 really wanna go there and you keep talking about my people, I am going to dismiss myself from you or I'm gonna kick your ass. And I'm not trying to go through all that. You know. So it's a fifty fifty thing with him. You know, there's a lot of things that I love about him, but then there's a lot of things like, oh, He's too hardcore for me, and I'm too hardcore for him. So I guess <laughs> it kind of worked out, you know. Plus, two, he needed to be at home with his family and his son. He was at a crossroads, too. And that's the reason why he was going crazy his damn self. You know, he was like, should he leave his home, you know, with his kids and all that, and move up here and then go through all this? It's a lot. And at the same time, he wanted to be with me, and he wanted to control and, and try to do this. And it's hard, you know? So I just basically, you know, even though we tried to get back together again, I just basically made the decision for him this right. And the right thing is, is that he needs to be at home and be an influence of his son, his only son. And uh, be with, you know, his family. Because if he moved here with me, you know, he'll be kind of miserable. So, you know, it's best that, you know, I let him go. But I had a bow. had a bow. So, <laughs> that is my update with that situation. Um, also, too, it was his mother's anniversary of passing away. And um, so, he just sat outside the front of my house. My old house, after he gave out pumpkins, thinking about me, thinking about us, thinking about his mom, thinking about the one he loves. You know, the Lord is going to watch over that crazy man. You know, there's some good, there's a lot of good in him. You know, um, I can only imagine what that lady thought of seeing this big old huge crazy white boy sitting outside of the truck in front of her house. Because other people do live in my old house. <laughs> Sitting there, you know. But uh, that butt is crazy. You know, 
it's, I can't do it. We, you know, we play hard, you laugh hard, you fight hard, and I'm too old to fight anymore. I'm trying to slow all that up. So, this has been my update on that situation. Now, there is somebody. You gotta know, I gotta have somebody to love me. Somebody got to love me. Somebody got to make me feel good. Someone. So there is someone that I've been, you know, slightly been like, hmm, how you done? <laughs> you know, thank you, Shannon. There is somebody around. Uh, so, I don't know, it's crazy. I'm going to tell y'all a little bit about that. So don't think that I'm sitting here, oh, so damn, total too miserable. You know, every now and then, somebody comes and, uh, you know, massage my back. One moment. Hey, lady. Did you know we was coming over your house? <laughs> and see, Candy just told me about an hour ago that it was going to be over your hair. So I told her I didn't know that it was going to be over your hair. So let me, I said I was going to call you later on to see if it was going to be at your hair. So, where would you prefer to have it at? Okay, well, I guess the kids, you got more floor room, and they know they want to uh, do their little dance and copy, make a you know, competition. So, maybe we should just uh, drive over to your house and bring our stuff over there so they can have that floor to kind of do what they got to do. Because she sound like she's trying to... She wants to bring the uh, little video games and kind of go hard in the living room. That's why we don't have to move my big ass table. Okay, so I guess we'll, we'll be over there. What then? Then call me. I'm going to come over there kind of early to help get some stuff done because I'm already going to be having food uh, like prepared. So I'm going to try to be at your house between the time of mm, three, about 3.30, no later than them four around that time. I'm trying to be up to house around that time if I can help set the uh, you know the table up and get whatever last minute stuff going. Okay, so we're over there. When was the last time you talked to Candy? Uh, well, when I talked to Candy, I talked to her about an hour ago. She told me, she was like, it's over to Mika's house. I said, I didn't know it was over to Mika's house. She says, so I said, okay. We'll up and move the dinner over, over to right there. So, okay. So, I'll see you then on the 28th. I don't know how you got thrown into it like that. And I didn't even know it was going to be your house now. <laughs> but I slightly, I guess, you know, she, I don't know. She said it was at your house. I guess they didn't change the demand of where they're going to do it. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Bye, baby. That was Tamika, y'all. I'm sorry. That's probably so rude to do. I know it is. But that was my cousin Tamika. And, um. We could already have another family day. You know, our family days are always crazy. And so I didn't plan the anniversary dinner for um, Whitney. Not an anniversary dinner. A graduation dinner. So I was having everybody over here. But then Candy tell me she everybody was going to go over my cousin to make us out. So, cha, 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 cha. We're going to go, but uh, I got some fireworks. And I'm going to say, bang, bang, bang. I got to do it one good time. I might as well. I didn't, he didn't left me all these dang on fire because I got these big old bombs. Hardcore, it's crazy, but, but, uh, so I guess I'm going to let one off for family day. But anyway, thanks for tuning in. I love y'all. I love all my subscribers. Continue to, hey. Subscribe to Life for Cousin Patches, baby. And don't forget Mama Tina on 1975 Patches. And you can't forget about our girl Candy. Yeah, uh huh. On Sweet Editions TV. So, 
I love you. Smooches.